A Decker's Genshin Impact is playable on the Steam Deck, well for the most part anyway, and this is with also the 3.6 update. So we thought we'd have a look at the best settings to play this on Steam Deck as it's not quite as straightforward as you would have thought, and we would have expected the performance to have been a little bit better. However, it does still play a very nice 45 frames per second. If you're having issues getting this up and running, we have a full article on how to get this working on SteamOS in the description and comments below. So as you can see here from the performance, even with a hefty battle, it's keeping a very stable 45 frames per second around the 22 watts mark. So you will get around two to three hours battery on this. If you try and tweak the settings any higher, it does push it up into the 24, 25 range and will lower that battery life down to the two hours and less mark. The settings for Genshin Impact do allow you to do 30, 45 or 60 frames per second. And this is definitely the better option. If you go to the low settings with FSR2 enabled, this is where you want to be. With reflections, motion blur and volumetric fog off, this will get you a very consistent 45 frames per second across the board and keep that wattage under the 22 mark. Even on those low settings, it does look absolutely fantastic on the Steam Deck. It is a bit of a shame that we can't push them a little bit higher because if we try and cap it at 60 frames per second on medium settings, FSR2 enabled, it does look a little bit better, though it's not that noticeable, but you'll notice that the wattage is way up into the 24 and 25 range and it doesn't hold 60 frames per second stable, even with nothing going on. It even drops down into the 30s on occasions. And dropping this to 30 on medium settings just doesn't feel right. Although it is extremely stable and it will bring that wattage down under the 20 mark, it just doesn't feel very good. And it actually feels quite stuttery and looks quite stuttery to me running at 30 on the Steam Deck. You could push this to medium at 45 if you don't mind a few dips, but you will push that wattage a little bit higher. So we will say that our best settings for this are those low settings with FSR2 and 45 frames per second cap the Steam Deck at 60. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to dive into this one. And we have had some reports that this is still not working for everyone. If you just don't get the game to launch at all once you get to the final step, then I'm afraid it's going to be a bit more of a wait for you. It does seem to be a bit random of which servers have been turned on with the new anti-cheat. And if it's not working for you, then don't be disheartened. It may just be another week until they enable it for your region. 